Canadian Supers has reached a tentative agreement with the union representing thousands of its employees. No word yet on the details of that deal, but today marks the official end of a 10-day strike. Nine News reporter Darius Johnson joins us now. We do not know much about this deal other than it is a three-year contract. Anything else you're learning? Well, Jenny, you know, that's all they're sharing right now. We do know that workers wanted higher wages, more money for health benefits and better security at a lot of these stores. Now, the agreement means no more picketing for now and employees can now return to work. This looks different. Well, it looks a lot different if you went even day to day. For the last week and a half, it looked like this. We spoke to those on both sides of the picket line Thursday. I think it's been reported by you and the number of other news stations that we've made. Uh, the union has come back with a number of offers and we've done the same. That's all part of negotiations, right? We're still talking. So they've had a best offer, a last offer, a last best final offer, and we continue to talk. Early Friday morning, they reached a deal after more than a week of negotiations. Just as of this morning, we hear the announcement that there, there was a resolution and Folks are coming back. There's no picket line to cross. Even though the vote takes place Monday, the union says workers can return to the store. And once they ratify it, it's a simple vote. And once that's ratified, then they have a new collective bargaining agreement and they're going forward on those premises. Nine News legal expert Whitney Trailer says these last 10 days showed the union's power, even after King Supers was granted a temporary restraining order to limit the picket lines. That's the very essence of a picket line is to disrupt the business. And so what we saw over the last few days was more picketers than than essentially customers. Customers taking over once again, now returning to a different King Supers. All right, so here's one lingering question. What will happen with the temporary employees who were hired during this strike? Well, that's still unclear, but Trailer says since this was an unfair labor practice strike, those at the picket lines are guaranteed their jobs, Jenny. Okay, so they're gonna meet in a couple days and decide what they wanna do with this offer. What happens if the workers do not approve this new contract? That's a great question. I also asked Trailer about that as well. He says that's highly unlikely, but if that is the case, maybe later down the line, these workers, those who work for King Supers, they could join the picket lines once again. Okay, but it is good context to know, highly unlikely in situations like this, exactly. I suppose. We will just see. All right, Darius, thank you so much for your reporting.